Hey there, I wanted to do a before video of this shower. It is tile to the ceiling and has not been cleaned in some time it appears. So around the bottom corner we've got the orange stain from hard water or iron water, I don't know. So I just wanted to, like I said, do a before, and then in a little bit, I'll show you what the after looks like. And while we're looking at things, this is the glass. It's wet currently, but I've heard when it dries, it's not crystal clear, so let's see if we can work on that as well. And that is all. Hey everybody. Just wanted to take a few minutes and show you how to clean a shower with Norwex. So this is a standard neglected shower, not a high priority. Um, you, can got, you can see the discoloration down here at the bottom on the floor. Um, I guess it's like iron or something, I don't know. Um, and then where the shampoo and the razors and everything sit, it's all dirty. Um, the faucet's all dirty. Um, and then when I'm finished, I'll do the, the glass on the outside. So this is our bathroom scrub mitt. It's scrubby on one side and soft on the other. I just got it wet. Um, <clears throat> just water, nothing else. So I'm just going to show you real fast. This is the easiest to do when you're actually in the shower. Everything's wet. It comes off really easily. <clears throat> A lot of people ask, what's the best way to eliminate soap scum? The best way is to not have it. So if you start using our body cloths and eliminate soap, you won't have to worry about soap scum. It's a non-issue. So we've got the grout nice and clean, and then you can just rinse it off with the backside. Okay, down here. good thing about the bathroom scrub mitt is, like I said, it's got little nylon fibers. It's scrubby on one side. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to show you all this discoloration. And like I said, if I were in the shower, This is wet. It'd be easier. Just rinse it out. <clears throat> Keep on going. <clears throat> okay. So you can see, just with the bathroom scrub mitt, and some water. Um, I could go over this a couple more times. Uh, you can see all the stuff that it picked up. Um, in fact, yeah, that should be fine. So, just like I said, the bathroom scrub mitt and water. And then I'll show you a close up. I took a picture of these. You probably can't see, but the top of these um, little shelves are just covered in disgustingness. Um, for that, I would probably use. Just an enviro cloth, a damp enviro cloth. These come in different colors. I use pink in the bathroom. And you just, same way, wipe everything down. This is going to get rid of any kind of 
hair, stuff from your shampoo, anything that was left there, nice and clean. Lots of hair up here. A little ring. I'm not sure if you guys can <clears throat> see that or not. Then I've got a bunch of dirt here, so what I'm gonna do is just flip it over and use another clean side. It's one of the great things about Normex. You just keep flipping over to a new clean side. Okay, so I've got both of those all nice and clean. You can hear them kind of squeak. As far as the, um, uh, whatever this is called, faucet, get a new little spot here. All you do is just wipe it off. If this was um, really bad, this one isn't that bad, but if it was really, really bad, you could get a little bit of descaler, which is one of our higher du heavy duty um, enzyme products. And then just window cloth, polish it all up nice and shiny. Okay, so we've got that. At the bottom, you can do the floor the same way. Um, I'm going to show you the window real fast, or the, the glass. So it's hard for me to get a picture of how dirty the glass is. Hopefully you can see now. There's, I don't know, maybe it'll look very clear. So all I'm going to do is just take the Enviro cloth. And this is another question I get. Well, how do I get the, the watermarks and the stains off my glass in my shower? And most of the time, the answer is just an Enviro cloth and a window cloth, and that's it. You don't need anything else. Let's see if that's enough for this one. Give it a second to dry. You don't need to over dry it. If you over dry it, it'll actually um, create more dirt. It'll attract the dust and everything. Just gonna let it dry for a second. Okay, you need to see a difference up here versus down here where it's all dirty. So here is dirty, and here is clean. Okay, that's clean in a bathroom with Norwex. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have the final product. You can see we've got no orange residue on the floor or on the corners. We've got no orange residue on the tile. We've got a nice shiny faucet. Hello, see my reflection up here. We've got some clean uh, whatever those are called, uh, shelves, and all that needs to happen is just the bottom of the drain uh, needs to have a like a toothpick just to get out those dark crevices. But that is with just the bathroom scrub mitt and an Enviro cloth. I had some cleaning paste available in case it was needed, but it wasn't. So there you go. Beautiful shower. And let's see if I can show you the outside as well. See my reflection. Glass is nice and clean. The chrome's nice and clean. There you go. Clean shower. Bathroom scrub mitt and an Enviro cloth.